hello there welcome to the vlog for the week today is Monday and we're gonna be going home today we're currently at our lake condo and we'll be going home later on like late afternoon I'm working from the condo today and um, just wanted to open up the vlog and today's outfit is very casual just <laughs> t-shirt shorts sandals um, got the bed stripped because I'm washing all the sheets and everything and because that's the other thing I do like before we leave get everything all dusted cleaned vacuumed clean the like some of the windows the mirrors you know that kind of stuff just get everything so it's all nice and clean and fresh for the next time we come and um so yeah welcome to the vlog and I can't think of right now of anything interesting coming up in this week but you just never know you know you just never know so anyway again welcome to the vlog for the week we'll see you next time Lake bye Lake we love you we'll be back Good morning. Today is Tuesday and I'm already, except for I just got to get my coffee and my water bottle and then I'll be headed out the door. So today's outfit, oh also, see my new glasses? Got some new glasses from Zenny. I mostly wear the, the ones that are like the cat eye with the black on the top and the clear on the bottom. The ones I wear most days. But then if I have like different outfits that would look better with like blue or you know some other color i have other pairs also these with all the colors i thought looked really pretty with this dress because this dress has a bunch of colors in it it's like a longer dress and then just have sandals but i think everything is from timu i don't remember about the denim vest because I have a couple of these that I got off of Amazon years ago, but then I have a couple that I got from Timu, and I don't remember if I got vests from Timu or the little short sleeve denim jackets, but I think the vests are from Amazon and the denim short sleeve jackets are from Timu, but it doesn't matter. Um, but anyway, that's the outfit for the day. Just a dress, little denim vest, and... Um, sandals and I can't think of anything else and I need to get a move on so I can get headed out the door and get to work and hope for a good day. Hello there. So today is Wednesday. This morning has been kind of a weird morning. We starting around three o'clock in the morning started getting some pretty uh, loud thunderstorms and our power went out probably around 3 30 in the morning and so you know from then until it came back on it came back on like about 10 till 5 which was perfect timing because 5 is what time I get up um, but we didn't really sleep in the middle you know it's like I don't know when the power goes out it's just I don't know how to explain it of course, then, and then when it comes back on, you are well, well aware of it, but so it was like, it came back on in time and everything, so that worked out good. Um, the outlet in my bathroom, though, um, Brian's going to have to look at, because it's, it's the kind that, um, that you have, like, next to sinks, you know, so it's got the little buttons on it that you, I don't know how to explain it, I, my brain doesn't want to work this morning, 
but it won't it won't untrip <laughs> no matter how many times I push the button it won't work but so my outlets not working but um, so anyway just <laughs> finishing getting ready grab my coffee and stuff it's still raining um, and just get headed out the door and as always hope for a good day I forgot to show you the outfit of the day it's just this little like simple dress that's got some pockets I belted it and just like sandals just comfortable very comfortable hello so today's Thursday I forgot to vlog anything else yesterday I really didn't do anything special um, when, after I got home from work, I did a little bit of house cleaning, you know, wiping the counters down, dusting, stuff like that. And so I could get that out of the way because the Disney Dreamlight Valley, that uh, game that I play on my Nintendo Switch, had an update. So I wanted to play that. So that's what I ended up doing after Brian left. Um, he goes on Wednesday nights those of you that don't know he goes and uh, plays pool with some buddies so he's done that for years um, and then you know I just do my own thing and so yesterday after he left for that I was just playing my game till about 9 30 and uh, then I went to bed so and I'm still thinking about it because I've got a lot left. There's like, they always come out with these little like quests and stuff. So um, I'm going to be wanting to play my game for a while. But anyway, <laughs> this morning I'm just getting, doing my normal morning stuff. And then I'm going to get headed out the door and hope for a good day. Which so far so good this week. So yay. I forgot to show you my outfit again. So it's just this little button-up shirt, pants, sandals, nothing fancy again. <laughs> hey guys, so it's Friday. It's 5.15, so after work and everything, and I am heading to Dollar Tree. We have been like all month planning to go watch our city's fireworks display tonight but I don't know if it's gonna happen the city has said they're gonna just they're planning everything like normal but they're calling for possibly severe thunderstorms later and the fireworks aren't supposed to be until 9 30 p.m. so they're like it might be a last minute thing, you know, they're just gonna watch the radar and everything. And they're doing a whole thing. We're not planning on going to everything, but like at 5.30, the park opens and they're gonna have like food trucks and um, a band and, you know, just all kinds of different celebratory, celebratory things. And they said, if, the fireworks get rained out because like right now it's 5 15 and if everything's starting at 5 30 everything should be fine leading up to the fireworks but if it starts to thunderstorm or it looks like it's going to start thunderstorming they said they'll do the fireworks tomorrow night instead just but just the fireworks you know not like the food trucks and all that other stuff so but we just really wanted to possibly go see the fireworks it's one of those things where we've been saying oh we're gonna go we're gonna go we're gonna go and then now that the day's here <laughs> we don't know if we still want to go or not I feel like I have a hair around my mouth I already took my shower and everything so right after I got off work I just went ahead and took my shower and I straightened my hair I, I did like a blow dryer um, I have this like brush blow dryer thing and I just do that sometimes but because I didn't want my hair to be because it takes my hair a really long time to dry and so I use that so my hair's dry but because I figured if we went to see fireworks 
know I didn't want to have to wait to take my shower until after we got back from that because who knows, knows how late that would be. And so Brian, he decided to go ahead and he's going to do the grocery shopping. I'm going to get the things from Dollar Tree. I'm looking for, they have these like bleach tablets. They come in a little tube and they work really nice in like the toilet and 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 you can use them for, you know, like if you need bleach, you just dissolve them. It takes like 10 minutes for the tablet to dissolve. Um, but I bought some of them when I went to Dollar Tree a while back, discovered that they work good in a toilet and decided I wanted more. And then also wanted some at the condo and now you can't find them anywhere. <laughs> been to several Dollar Trees and they know they they're always they don't have them so I'm going to check my Dollar Tree again and luckily the time that I did buy them I bought um they have a couple of scents I bought two of each scent and so I took one of the things to the condo and there's 10 10 tablets that come in a little tube but anyway I want to see if they have some more of those um, and I'm just going to look around and stuff. And then a few things that, you know, like napkins, stuff like that, that we get from there. So that's what I'm up to. Glad the work week is done. Got the weekend. I also scheduled my mammogram, which I was supposed to have it in June. And then I kept um, forgetting to call. And so now I'm going on July 11th to have my mammogram. And so I'm hoping that my mammogram will go well. It was last year that I ended up having that, was it last year? I think so, that I had that lumpectomy. I had a tumor that was called adenomyoepithelioma. <laughs> That's a mouthful. It's a rare kind of tumor and it can turn into cancer. And so I had that removed. It ended up being, they said it was a lumpectomy, but then when I got my, my paperwork after the surgery and everything, it said a partial mastectomy. And so that section of my breast actually has filled back in pretty good. You can still tell that it's not one breast is not as full as the other you can tell like if I raise my arms that's when I can see it but really you know nobody sees my boobs but me and Brian <laughs> so I was real self-conscious about it at first and you know he was never he's like it's, you look wonderful you look great you know so, but anyway, I had, I have cystic breast tissue, so I watch my caffeine. I, we drink decaf coffee. Most of the time, if I have a soda, it's a, it's like a, a root beer or a cream soda, because those don't have caffeine. And sometimes I will have, um, you know, like a Diet Pepsi or Diet Dr. Pepper or something like that, but those are few and far between. Cutting the coffee, making that decaf has made the hugest difference because I used to just have cysts in my breasts all the time. And then I'd go have a mammogram and they would have a hard time seeing everything. And it, they would always say, you know, in the thing, well, since I cut out that caffeine, I don't have any of those, like cysts or anything. So hopefully the mammogram will be really, and they do the 3D one. And so hopefully you know, if there's anything there, then they'll be able to see it really good. That tumor, it was really weird because I had a mammogram last year. And then a couple of months later, I that I got like that, I thought it was just like one of those cysts that I get. But then it, it grew really, really quickly. And it was like, kind of hard and it wouldn't move around. And so then I called my doctor, they did um, an ultrasound and another mammogram, and then they did a biopsy. And then the biopsy came back that it was that adenomyoepithelioma tumor. And he said, well, that's, that's gotta come out. Um, 
So I went through all that. So hopefully this year will be easy breezy. We shall see. I'm expecting it to be. But I am at Dollar Tree now, so I'm gonna go in there and see if they've got bleach tablets and napkins and <laughs> whatever else I can find. Okay, I'm done at Dollar Tree. They did have the bleach tablets. I'll show you what I got when I get home. Um, I was wanting to tell you, I, I don't know where my brain was, obviously thinking of something else or something, but I'm sitting here, I got in the car and I was like, why is it so hot in here? Why isn't my air working? I didn't have it turned on and the dial I was turning was the volume dial for my radio. And my radio's not even on. I don't know, brain. was not working is that I think that's a sign I'm like going through perimenopause and menopause or whatever the brain thing it's like that <laughs> okay I'm back home and I have two sacks I'm not sure I really have anything that's very exciting or interesting But, okay, so I got some napkins. These are the ones that are like premium. But, so I got two packs of napkins. I got, I've never tried these before. They're for your car. They're like um, wet wipes for like the dash and stuff. They say they're citrus scented. I don't really like citrus, but I'll try them because <laughs> my dash gets really dusty and stuff. And I have like a like a soft like cloth thing, but it doesn't it hasn't been working as well. And so I figured I would try these. But then I also got this. It's a super soft microfiber cloth. And it doesn't have like any lint that comes off. One time I was in a Dollar Tree. I don't remember if it was the Dollar Tree here or the Dollar Tree at the lake. But I was in a Dollar Tree and there was a lady trying to get these because I guess she embroidered, she, she embroiders things on them and then sells them on her Etsy shop. Um, and so the checker, they didn't have any, but she was like, check online because Dollar Tree sells online and in bulk. So I don't know if she ever found them. I don't even know why I told you that story. <laughs> I got this hair gel for Brian. Um, he likes to use hair gel. This isn't the kind he normally likes because it's a level 10 and he likes it lower, but he texted me and he said, when you're at Dollar Tree, see if they have the pink one. But they didn't. They just had the blue. So he said, just go ahead and grab the blue. So, again, why am I telling that story? <laughs> I got some of this Revitalizing Cream Cleanser. I like this. Um, it says it's comparable to Olay Regenerist Regenerating Cream Cleanser. I don't know if it's comparable to that or not because I've never used that. I just like this, so, and I'm getting low. I noticed when I was in the shower, so this was one of the other things I was trying to think of that I wanted to get at Dollar Tree, so I got this. They also have, like, moisturizer and stuff, too, that's supposed to be comparable. Then I got two of these underbed storage. They're like a cube. They're, they get about that tall and about, like, that wide, and... At the condo, I have like my bathing suits and stuff stored in these, and then I have them like on a shelf. And so I have like one pieces in one and two pieces in another, stuff I wear in the sea do on another, but these help me organize those. And since I seem to have a problem with ordering bathing suits from Timu, I needed a couple more storage bags, and I like these. So I got those. I got these rubber bands. They say they're extra grip and they have like these little grippies 
on them. I've tried this brand that doesn't have the grips, and I like them, so I picked those up. It was the only one of these that, that, that I saw. I got this is a floating sunglasses cord. These things that look exactly like this at like some of the different shops, like at the lake or, or even when we've gone to like Florida are so expensive. My son, one time when he was riding the Sea-Doo, he hit a wave so hard it knocked his glasses off. Luckily, they did not fall in the water. They just fell like in the footwell of the Sea-Doo. But I got this to take to the lake because we're going on vacation and him and his girlfriend are going with us too, just in case he might want to have something like this to hold his glasses on. And then even if they were to fly off, they would float. I've got a couple more of these at the, at the condo, but they're like really bright and I didn't know if he'd want the bright. I would want the bright because I think if they fall off, you'd be more likely to see them. But so one bag down, they had, I love microwave popcorn, but they had the Act 2, the Extreme Butter. I've never tried the Extreme Butter. I've tried the movie theater and then the kettle corn. I love the kettle corn. So, got that. Here's the bleach tabs I was telling you about. They only had the original scent, but they come in like a tube, like this. And, um, yeah, there's 10 of them in here. They had a whole bunch of them in this, the regular one. So, I got two for home, and then I got two to take to the condo. Then, I got... They had all their school supply stuff out and I got this to kind of organize like the the junk drawer at the condo it has some separators and stuff in it that were there when we moved in or well, I guess we did move in it's our second home but they're kind of a mishmash and they don't fit together and all that well these they you can like attach them to each other and stuff so I figured for a dollar and a quarter I would try to organize the junk drawer a little bit better. I'll call it a junk drawer, but it's like, you know, where the scissors and batteries and just stuff like that. And then to go along with this, they had this little storage container. They have them that are like kind of long and not real deep like this one. And then they also had small ones that are probably half the size of this and taller. But they have a nice lid that attaches. So I figured between this and this, I could get that drawer organized. So it's pretty organized now, but I want it more organized. <laughs> but that's my whole Dollar Tree haul. Brian should be home anytime. And then I'll be helping him put up groceries. And then we're gonna make some dinner. Let me show you something that we get from Aldi. If you like barbecue, Aldi sells these pork burn ends and you just stick them in the microwave for like three minutes. It's like a crazy, ridiculously, yeah, three minutes. These are so good. We love these things. We bought them for the first time at the lake and um, we've had them like three times and I think this is what we're gonna have for dinner tonight. It'll be the fourth time <laughs> we've had these. And I think we're just gonna have some like French fries or something with them. But I, if you like barbecue, I recommend these. And I think they're $5.99 at Aldi. So, okay. Now I'm gonna put all this stuff up. So we're on, this is Saturday and we're on our way to Longview Lake, which is one of our local lakes, to go out on our sea dew, our blue one. It's named Blue. <laughs> By the way, we did go see the fireworks last night. Um, they started them a little bit early, so we didn't see them from the very, very beginning, but we still saw enough and got to see the finale and all that kind of stuff because we were getting thunderstorms and it worked out perfectly. It was like we had the fireworks that they were setting off and then on the way home while we were driving home, we had God's fireworks 
with the um, lightning. lightning and stuff and the thunderstorm wasn't like a severe one where it had hail or anything like that but it had a ton of lightning so we got to see that fireworks show too so but now we're going to the lake just our local one it's gonna be a nice day so we're sitting out here just kind of relaxing in a cove This phone's not going to zoom enough, but there's an eagle's nest with two fledglings over there. And then the mom or the dad, we're thinking the dad, he's in that tree over there. He was just over there with them, maybe feeding them. Brian has a friend that does that, talks about eagles and he was saying that the, the dad, when the fledglings get big enough to fly on their own there it goes. that we'll be feeding them and stuff they fly right above the water sometimes here. yeah where are they going? I don't know you can still see that white tail still see that white tail briefly. Yeah, the babies, they don't have their white feathers yet. They're squawky. They talk a lot. They were talking a ton when the dad was coming back. It's clearing off, babe. We're gonna yeah, get some sunshine. sun's coming out. It looked like it was going to have thunderstorm pouring down storms when we first got here. But we just stuck with it. There's no other boats back here by us, we but we, we, we always, yeah. when we're like floating in the water, we always have this flag. Yeah. I just heard a firework too. Yeah, I heard a firework too, but they um, were doing their squealing. But anyway, for safety, because that flag's real bright. So like if there was a boat to come back here, they'd know that I'm not floating in the well, water anymore. Well, there's a timber anymore. line right here and everybody yeah. knows that you end up running in the logs right on the back end of this cove. Water's about six feet deep right here. Yeah, we just we it's have probably it, about 81. Have it anchored. 80, 81 degrees, maybe 82. Got some cherries. Had Fritos earlier. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just the having the Walmart Fritos, which are very good. Yes, we like the Walmart Fritos. Like we've had the, the great value brand. Yeah, the great value. We've had the barbecue ones, and we've had the chili cheese, and we They're actually like good. them better than the Frito Lay. Yeah, the texture the, of the of the corn it's chip is a little lighter. Yeah, a little airier. It's good. It's, it's good. And the price is good too compared to chips are a fortune nowadays. I was in the water, but it's really cold. <laughs> she got a cold shock when she first got in. So I got and out. it was and it was cloudy. <laughs> like now, you can get back in now with the sun on you, it feels really good, but I've just stayed in here. I've always said I, I if I could grow gills and live in the lake, I would. No, not really. It's just a stupid little thing I say. <laughs> part, of, part of what makes me me. Angie loves me. That's all that matters. <laughs> I do. Hey guys, so it is Sunday about noon and I just pulled up to Marshall's. I need a new shower curtain liner. I like to use those fabric ones and Marshall's is even cheaper than Walmart on them. So that's what I'm here for, but of course, you know, I'm going to look around and stuff. So, um, but yeah, anyway, that's what I'm doing right now. And I stopped in on the way and did get gas in my car because I needed to fill up my fuel for the week. <laughs> Look how sparkly these butterfly shoes are in the sun. Hey guys, so it is several hours later. I will show you the things I picked up when I get home, but <laughs> I got more than a shower curtain liner. Then I went over to Five Below, you know, like how, if you've been around for a while, you know I go looking around in that store and a good majority of the time I don't buy anything 
because there's really nothing I want or um, I'll buy just a little bit. I spent $50 or $55 in there. That's the most I've ever spent in that store. But I'll show you what I got when I get home. So Marshall's, I walked around in there for a while. I walked around Five Below for a while. Then I went to Academy Sports because Skechers makes these sandals that I love. And I've had this the same ones for quite a while. And they're still good and everything, but I was they had them on sale and I thought, well, if I could if they have my size, maybe I'll pick up um, a new pair because the ones I have are canvas. I've got a black pair and a tan pair but they had they're like they're not real leather but or I don't think they are but like a brown pair and so I stopped in here to look for those of course they had one pair left and they were a way a way big size but I was looking at other shoes and I found a really really cute pair of tennis shoes I'll show them to you when I get home and then uh, the other reason I was thinking about going in there was I have like for my sun shirts you know those shirts that have like 50 SPF on them so I have long sleeve versions of those I don't have any short sleeve versions and I wanted to find a short sleeve shirt for like when we're on the kayak and because we were thinking maybe when we go on vacation later on in July, maybe one of the mornings will be cool enough to go kayaking. Um, so I went, I thought, oh, I'll go see if I could find a short sleeve because I looked at Walmart a few days ago and that's the other place I need to still go, but I'm, I don't feel like it now. I just need to get like bef some things before we go on uh, to the condo the next time. Because the next time we go is going to be like our long vacation. We need some more sunscreen, stuff like that. But that's going to be a while, so I don't have to go to Walmart, so I'm not going to. But anyway, the last time I looked at Walmart, they didn't have any... They had no short sleeve in women's at all. As a matter of fact, I couldn't even find any long sleeve in women's. Um... And then they had like a couple of short sleeve, but they were like an extra, extra large. So <laughs> that would have been way too big. So um, at Academy, they had all kinds of long sleeve sun shirts for women, but no short sleeves. So I was like, well, I'll go look at the men's. And they did. They had the men's and they were on sale 50% off. So I got two shirts, two short sleeve sun shirts. The only thing I had, I got like a, like a peachy color, like a coral color that's real bright and pretty. And they also had a blue one, but the blue that they had in a me, cause I'd get a medium. Cause the blue had something all over it and I didn't know what it was and if it would come out. So I didn't get the blue, but then they had a gray. So I got a gray and then like a peach color. So, but they were on, like I said, 50% off sale. I always think it's weird too because like all the men's sun shirts were on sale but the women's weren't the women's in that same brand the shorts were on sale but they're all those like real super short shorts but it just it, I don't get it why women's some women's clothing is more expensive than like the men's version it's really kind of crappy honestly the same thing happened with I was trying to find some just like you know how they make sweatpants I wanted just some like little sweat shorts to have at the condo I have some at here and they're nice sometimes when you're like you're at the pool all day or whatever and you you're not ready to go into pajamas but like you take a shower to get all your sunscreen off and everything and then you want to throw something on and I have a couple of these little dress things like little terry cloth dresses 
but it was like sometimes I just would like just a soft pair of shorts so I was looking over in the women's section and they were this was at Marshall's and they were kind of pricey in my opinion for what they were so I was like well I'll go over to the men's see what they have in the men's they're cheaper over there it's just kind of a little crazy especially since sometimes the women's is, it's even less material but I don't know so if you guys watched my Timu haul where I showed a bunch of different swim trunks that I bought for Brian. All of them fit and they all look great. And he really, really likes them. I, can't, I still don't, can't get over the deal that they have on swimwear. And my sons, I got him the ones with the bananas and those, he liked those. So, oh yeah, I was gonna stop at the car wash. So, get the other lane. But after I go to the car wash, I'm gonna head home. I think we're gonna have, we might pick up Domino's for dinner. We've been thinking about having like pizza or Domino's has pasta. They have um, calzones, they have all kinds of things. And I think personally, I think Domino's is better than Pizza Hut, but that's just my own personal opinion. I think their crust is a little bit sweeter I love Pizza Hut too, don't get me wrong, but I like Domino's better. I also think they're a little bit cheaper. But anyway, I will quit rambling and I'll show you my goodies when I get home. Well, the stuff I picked up. home now and Brian and I just um, made a we use the Domino's app and so we set up a carryout order so he's gonna go pick up the Domino's and then I'll show you what I got at Marshall's and Academy and Five Below so first off it's nothing exciting at all <laughs> well actually none of this stuff's exciting I don't think I got a trash can for the, this is for at the condo in the bathroom. That's like the main bathroom, not the one that's on the primary bedroom, but we have a round one there now. And it's, it doesn't fit, it's too big. So I got this one that's a little bit more, not big, but it's got the flip top and all that. So I think it'll work a lot better. And then we'll just bring the one there home and store it until we might need a trash can. It's just a white trash can. I wish they would have had white, but they all they had was black. Then those like little sweat shorts I was telling you about. So I got these in the men's section. In the men's section, they're $9.99. In the women's section, they're $14.99. So they're just like... They've got pockets on the front, or in the front, and then they have like a little button detail on the pocket that I thought was really cute. But I got the, I don't know what color this is even, what they would even say. It doesn't say. Anyway, they're kind of a mauve color, kind of pinky. They had a blue pair that I really would have liked to have gotten, but, um, they were the kind that go all the way down to your knees. <laughs> but then I got this kind of like tan, like khaki-ish color. Same exact short with a little pocket on the back. And then they had gray. So I got the gray with the pocket on the back. So those are going to the condo for like leisure. Then I found a really cute, I have a thing. I love Def Leppard. That's like, I like a lot of music, but Def Leppard and Bon Jovi kind of hold like a special place in my heart because 
those are the first concerts Brian and I ever went to when we were f very first dating. Our first date was a Bon Jovi concert, but Def Leppard was another one. We used to listen to a ton of their music and stuff. And this one is Rock of Ages is what it says with Def Leppard. And it's a crop style. And so I've got a couple of these, actually I think I have like at least two pairs of jeans that they're way high waisted. And so a crop works perfectly because it doesn't show my stomach or anything because of how high the waist is. But then it's, the those pants have like a really cool button detail. So then you can see the buttons too. Cause like a regular t-shirt you can't. And then I got just a pair of green shorts because I don't have green. And I have a couple of like kind of camo t-shirts and I thought they would look really cute with those. So that's that. And then I got another Marshall sack. I have three Marshall sacks. I got... This is for pet hair, and the way these work, um, the first one I ever got like this was called like a chom chom that you get from, that I got from Amazon. This was $6.99, which is an excellent price. And I had a lady one time comment on a Timu video that she had bought like one of the things that's like a chom chom, but she didn't think it worked, and she threw it away. But I think what, because when I first got one thing like this, I didn't think it worked either because I thought you just keep rolling, but you don't. You go back and forth like this. You have to go back and forth. And then the these move back and forth. And as they're going, they're putting fur into here. This is an extra large one. The one that um, I've gotten from like, Amazon is smaller. It's like it only has one roller, but that's the thing. I think people get confused and they think you you just roll and roll and you don't. You do short little bursts because you have to. It goes back and forth, back and forth. So um, I wish that lady would have would have said how do they work, you know, or looked up a YouTube video. Makes me sad that she threw it away, um, thinking it didn't work because I bet she she wasn't doing it right. Because it's, I mean, it's confusing if you don't know. Because that's what I did. I thought it was broken at first. And somebody had recommended it on a YouTube video. And then she demonstrated it. And I was like, oh, that's how it works. So, but I like how this one's extra large. Because Mr. Django, our cat, he sheds a lot. So I got that. Then I got, this is Honey. It's from Canada. And Honey's kind of expensive here and this was only $5.99 and it's pure honey it's not like you know that that's not real honey it's got a lot of sugar like corn syrup that they thicken up but so I got this if they would have had two I would have bought one for here and one for the condo but they just had one I bought a new hairbrush this is um, the wet brush and it was only $5.99 it's way cheaper to buy these brushes at like Marshall's. So got a new brush. I got, this was on clearance for $3. I got a little um, makeup uh, brush for like powder foundation, stuff like that. Then they had um, this black eyeliner you get that's like the felt tip. You got two of them for $3.99. So sometimes on the weekends, I didn't today or yesterday. Sometimes on the weekends, all I do, like the weekdays, I don't use eyeliner on my lash line. I use eyeshadow. But then on the weekends, sometimes when I'm wanting to wear some makeup, but not a bunch of makeup, I just use like black eyeliner on my lash line and mascara. Um, so that's why I got that. Oh, and the whole reason I went to Marshall's <laughs> was for a fabric shower curtain liner it was $7.99 the cheapest one they have at Walmart at least my Walmart is $10 so and I like how this has a nice little texture so got that and then 
the last Marshalls pen. It's only got two things in it. I got this curling iron. It's a Conair curling iron, but what is cool about it is you can take, because the curling iron I have now has one of these on it, and I want to do, like, I'll see the, the girls on YouTube or wherever, they'll just, like, take their hair and they'll just, you know, like, wrap it around and then kind of just let it fall off of the curling iron, where the one I have clamps and then you got to kind of, I don't know. I just thought this one would be cool, but because I want to take, I want to take that off. So, got that to try. And it was 20 bucks, which is a lot cheaper than, yeah, 19 dollars which is a lot cheaper than, like, some of the brands that you can buy that don't have that. And then the last thing I got from Marshalls was a pair of sandals that they had on clearance for... $21 it says compare at $65. So um, it cracks me up how Marshall's puts those big old stickers in there. Luckily they come off. You guys will have to tell me. I'm trying to get this, this sticker. Is this like a an expensive brand? Soft? It says since 1927. I know when I tried them on, they were phenomenally soft. Yeah, it says. Isn't that a really, I think the sole is cool. So did I get a good deal on the on these, $21? But they're like gold and like a little bit of silver fleck and then they're Velcro, but then they have this really pretty buckle. I just thought these were really, really cute. I actually like these better than those Skechers that I was going to Academy to look for. These are a cuter shoe, honestly. So really, I, I'm i happy. Okay, so that was everything from Marshalls. Then, I'll show you what I got at Academy because it's just right here. I got, I love these tennis shoes. My mom will get it because she knows how, what a big fan of like a cheetah print I am. They had these these Adidas. Look at these. These are so cool. They had them on clearance for $29.97. But and then see how it's got like the hot pink on the laces and then on the back the thing to help you pull your shoes on. I love these. Love 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 these. They're so cute. I was so happy to get these. Just over there looking at the clearance stuff. And then the two sun shirts that I was telling you about. That's the back. I got a, gr oops. <laughs> a gray, just plain gray. And this really pretty coral color. So, it's a couple of shorter sleeved sun shirts. They'll protect like the shoulders and everything. So, I was really happy to find those. Okay. There's stuff all in the way. I'm trying to move stuff around. Okay. So, Five below. <laughs> they had like their inflatables, like for the pool and stuff, and they're only five dollars there. Well, five fifty-five. And since Daniel and um, his girlfriend are gonna go to the lake, and then you know we'll all like maybe we'll all be floating around in the lake and stuff. So I got some inflatables, but I want to show you the thing that was my favorite thing that is adorable so i have to tell you a story brian he doesn't doesn't get him very much anymore but he loves hostess ho-hos and he gets them from time to time still but he used to go we have a hostess store by us where they have like 
you know, the bread's getting close to the expiration date, stuff like that. So it's like a discount bakery. And years ago, he used to go there so much. I went in there with him one day and we walk in and the lady at the register goes, ho, ho, man. It's like they just knew him from the ho-hos, you know? And he was so embarrassed. I don't even know. He, we never go there anymore. <laughs> but um, she just was being nice. But so they had a Funko Pop that is a ho-ho. And he's carrying uh, the damn glare. He's carrying a little box of ho-hos. That's what he looks like. They also have cup, a cupcake, ding-dong, ho-ho, and Twinkies. But five below, they just had, I saw the ding-dongs and then the ho-hos. I didn't see the cupcake or the Twinkie. But I, and I showed it to him already and he loves it. I just had to get it. How can I not have that glare? I just wanted you guys to see how adorable he is. He's got green, little green shoes on. This is adorable. And so I, I showed it to Brian and he's like, oh my gosh, he really liked it. So, okay, let me see. Can I put this bag up here so I don't have to keep bending down? Okay, so what's not an inflatable, they had, so Five Below sells different perfumes and I've only ever purchased one, and I really like it. I mean, for five bucks, but they have this, um, one of their perfumes that's like this peach. It's called Kimberly's Sweet Peach. They also have a cherry one and a pineapple one, and then the peach. They had a tester, and the peach smelled so good, but they didn't have any of the perfumes. They were sold out. But I found this kit or this little set that was the same exact price and it comes with a perfume and a body gel and a lotion. So I bought this little set. And then I got, because I want to try it, this little body spray that's the, it's got the peach, the tropical pineapple, and the sweet cherry. I almost bought the cherry. I put it in my cart for a little bit, but I put it back. So I got these kind of like little treats for myself. And then, um, to take down to the condo, I bought this laptop stand, the butterfly. They had a flower too, but I, I like the butterfly. Um, but see how the butterfly is like the base and it'll hold your laptop up. Because I notice when I'm working from the lake, I, my, I don't have anything to raise my laptop up so I'm like always kind of bent over so I think this will be a big help so I got that then I got some inflatables so this one is a chocolate donut they're 40 inches they had like one of the 40 inch ones blown up in there and it's big so got a chocolate donut and got the pink donut they had one that looked like a tire. I mean, they had a bunch of inflatables, but not all of them were the circle ones. Where you can, I like those because you can sit with your butt in the circle, or you can do like how she's doing it when you're floating around. So, but yeah, so got the donut ones. And then I got two of these. I wish they would have had them in different colors, but it's an inflatable hammock. So it's got like this pillow part and then the sides, it's really pretty, but then the center is like this mesh. So you can, so you get wet. Um, so you're not baking and getting real hot. And then it's got a cup holder. And so I got two of those because I think Brian would think this was cool too. Um, but, and he won't care about it being like, it's pink and like orange and yellow. He, he won't care about it being pink or anything. Brian doesn't get hung up on stuff like that. And then the last thing I got was a pump, like to help blow up the inflatables. I have like an electric one, you know, for like 
big, big things, but you shouldn't use electric ones on things like this. You'll accidentally pop them. But I also don't want to try to blow it up. I'll probably have an asthma attack if I try to blow something like that up. But so that's what I got at five below. Oh wait, I have one more thing in here. I almost threw it in the trash. Just a little sharpener for um, eye pencils. So, but yeah, I'm glad I was like doing this because I almost threw that away. So that's everything I got. So now I need to put some of this stuff up while Brian's getting our pizza. And then when he gets back, we're gonna have pizza, um, take our showers, watch some TV, go to bed and start the work week up. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap the vlog up then because nothing else is gonna happen. Um, and if it does, I'll just start a new vlog. <laughs> Next week is Independence Day. It will be on Thursday, 4th of July. Um, we don't have any plans. We, Brian and I think we might go to the lake because it's just gonna be the two of us because Daniel's gonna, he's got a little um, thing he's got planned with his girlfriend. So um, it'll be kind of cool. Brian and I will just have our, the day. But anyway, I'll quit rambling, wrap the vlog up for the week. Thank you so much for spending the week with me and hope you come back next week. Bye.